there, all you heroes and ghouls out there, and welcome back to Hell Yeah Gaming Plays Dongon Ronpa, where we are jumping right back into things. I was previously going to end our recording session uh, in the last episode, but we were just too hyped to see what's going on here. Exactly. Previously on Dongon Ronpa! Celeste died. Celeste died. <laughs> yeah, that's the big takeaway, is Celeste died. And uh, we recalled everything from beginning to end and felt very proud. Yep. And Celeste's ultimate goal and dream out of life was the most glorious thing I've ever seen. European castle and a bunch of butlers just like vampires. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. All right. All right. Then at the end, uh, you know, we found where Alter Ego was stashed because Celeste is the one who took the laptop and just basically put it in a different locker, which was actually kind of like brilliant in its simplicity, oh, I gotta yeah. say. Uh, at which point, hey, here we are. We uh, Kyoko has agreed to tell us what she's been doing when she just disappears off the face of the earth. Yep. And uh, now we're sneaking out in the middle of the night to go f do find something that she is talking about. Oh yeah. So take it away. The boys' bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or monitor in it. And in the storage closet there, way in the back. She said it was way in the back of the boys' bathroom storage closet, but could Kyoko really be right about this? All right. Boys' bathroom. Wonder what happens if you tried to go in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> I don't refuse because he's a gentleman. Yeah, probably. Oh, I see. Back there. Yeah, back there. The back back. It's just a normal storage closet as far as I can tell. Nope. The secret Kyoko told me about. Could it really be hidden here? Is it the bat cave? Oh, that's an obvious fake panel. Yeah. She said it was okay. But I mean seriously? Without thinking, I placed my hand on the back of the storage closet. And suddenly, as if it, I were being yanked in. Boom! False wall! <laughs> Good shunk. That's a great that's a great sound effect. Good shunk. At the same time as I heard that sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. Mm. Oh look at that. I had fallen through the back of the storage closet. Huh? It turned out the back wall was like a revolving door and I'd made my way to the other side. Just like Kyoko had said. Ooh. In the boys' bathroom on the second floor, there's a storage closet. And when you're in the back of that closet, there's a secret room. Oh, ho, ho. So this is the secret room. I kind of wonder if the Yaki is the agent. Because he's the one who seems to know a lot more about other people. True. True. Alright. But what's in here? A lot of shit, apparently! There's a bunch of files and what look like volume after volume of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Looking at everything, one file at the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. Hope's Peak Academy Student Registry? This is the only thing in here not covered in dust. Has someone been looking at it recently? Yeah, probably. Uh, well, I assume Kyoko would either look at everything, or she would only go after what looks like it had been had a recent use. Mm -hmm. So, sh there's probably someone else who uses this room. Yep. I slipped the file into my hand. But before I had a chance to take a look at it, a slip of paper fell out of the file and I turned my attention to it. I said, <laughs> the paper says, we tried to contact you about your student loans. <laughs> no, 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 it's about your senate, your car's trying to warranty. Oh. <laughs> it, 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 two slips of paper come out, it's both. What's this? You must not leave. You must not leave. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I could understand if it said, like, 
I can't leave, but you must not leave? Wow, that's interesting. What is this? My head feels funny. Just get drugged. The strange sensation. It's like deja vu. Those words, you must not leave. Mm. I've seen them somewhere before. Is this before all this happened? But I can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? Everything. A lot of things, Makoto. I, I. Oh, snap! Yoko just sell us out. A strange sound rang out through my head. It felt like I was sh it was shaking my brain back and forth. That's what you call a concussion, Makoto. And then darkness. Oh, so dramatic. No parents. <laughs> Other dark stuff. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. No, it's not. We got three more chapters. <laughs> and with that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it had been. Oh, it all got cleaned out. <laughs> Ow. Apparently, something hit me and I lost consciousness. Duh. That's all I understood. The dull, throbbing pain in my head proved that much, at least. God, I hope Ky Kyoko didn't sell us out. I would be so mad. She's like one of my favorites. Aw, oh, me too. That would upset me. An empty bookshelf. Huh? Empty. Gone. It's all gone. But I mean, you gotta admit the timing here is impeccable. Mm -hmm. The yearbooks, the student registry, and even the note that had fallen on the floor. It's all gone? Not all of it. What does this mean? But my brain refused to do any more work. I get you, Makoto. I understand that feeling so hard. Yeah. The insistent pain in my head began to spread across the rest of my body. For now, I should go back to my room. No, you should grab some of the papers that are still left. Get some rest. I think, I don't think those are meant to actually be anything. My body was heavy with pain, my mind heavy with thought. I dragged myself back toward my room. Yeah, my mind has been heavy with thought too. Usually some uh, very voluptuous thoughts. Do they happen to be about 10 feet tall? Oh, you know it! <laughs> Somehow, I made it back to the first floor of the school. The farther I walked, the more I felt things are getting blurry. <laughs> I can't see in front of me. How does a skeleton sneeze? Well, you know, bone dust. Fair enough. I m makes as much sense as you talking. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that, well, thud on the ground. Hmm? As if from a vast distance, I heard a sound. What is that thumping? It was faint, but undeniable. That sound. Oh yeah! <laughs> the Kool-Aid man bursts in. Oh no. He's like, I've come to get you kids out of here. It's coming from the gym? As I desperately hauled my shaky frame toward the gym, the sound got stronger and stronger. Crack. <laughs> mm. What's going on? It can't be nothing. Here in the gym? Oh, we're about, we're about to witness something big. I can feel it. So we're about to get to some shit in what we're saying. All that matters is the gym. Oh, I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills. I didn't make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. So is it like that guy in the telltale heart who like, moves it like ever so slowly for like an inch over the course of 10 minutes? 
The sounds coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensified that much more. My concussion was causing hallucinations. Oh, wow. Ooh. Okay. Good. Someone building something? Oh! oh. Nice ass shot. <laughs> Before me, there raged a battle beyond anything humanly possible. Oh, snap. Sakura fighting robot bear. Yes. No, one side's not human, that's for sure, but regardless, I couldn't stop staring. This is cool. This is cool. I forgot to move or even breathe. Oh shit! Is she the. Is Sakura the mole? Oh snap. Oh no. The deal. I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's rather blase. Die? But you do realize what will happen if you go through. I love Sakura. You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? Oh dear. Oh man. So she's the mole, but only because he's got leverage? Yep. What am I looking at? What am I hearing? A hostage? Then could it be the mastermind spy is? <sighs> oh my god. Three more dead, seven left standing. To be continued. Like I said, chills. Super Robo Justice present. Yeah, that's not gonna be useful at all. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the moment where the trophies that we get for all of the, at the end of all the deaths, uh, are going to come in play in some way. Leon killed Sayaka after she tried to kill him first. Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leon got executed. Then Mondo killed Chihiro. And then he got executed. That was beautiful. <laughs> Hifumi killed Taka. Then Celeste killed Hifumi. Then she got executed. Yeah, a lot of people are dying. And that brings us up to now. I actually did have a small thought. Uh -huh. Like I gotta announce it that Sakura might be only because like she's like she's kind of in the background. That's mm -hmm. kind of where the mole might be. She doesn't she doesn't put herself up front too much yeah, and say exactly. say a lot. Okay. I get that. But I dismissed it and I should I should have woken back gut. Ooh. <sighs> the next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. There's only five of us here. Mm, only a third of the number of people we started with. Well, there's seven. Oh, Biaki and, and uh, yeah. Toko never join us in the morning. Yeah, uh, that's right. Okay. Indeed. Loneliness has become commonplace. Hmm. That's true. Mm. Still. What did I see yesterday? I don't understand. Sakura is the mastermind spy? Can that really be true? Or oh, this is another setup because of these games like to mm -hmm. play their perceptions. Well, even if she is, Makoto, you also saw her declaring that she would no longer obey him and would fight against him. Yep. So, when there? Yep. 
I mean, she's like she's like the one character you do not want her, want to be on her bad side. Uh. I mean, there's a lot. I, w I also wouldn't want to be on the serial killer's bad side. She only kills men, so I'm kind of safe here. Makoto, are you okay? Ah, uh, no, I'm fine. I can't bring it up in front of the others. If I did that, it would just confuse everyone that much more. It would probably just create a, 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 a mob against her. Pass out. Hmm? What do you mean in that case? Because, I mean, well, look how scary everyone looks. It's gotta be because you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? If you feel your belly, I'm sure you're all cheer up, so let's eat. <laughs> Plenty of donuts for you, right? <laughs> let's probably have sufficient donuts and eat until we can't stand up. That's like a deep impact style, meteor impact. Extinction level of in combination of foods! You don't want to eat them together, moron. <laughs> Those are both breakfast top, time top sellers. <laughs> Still, the till we can't stand up part is a problem. After we're done, we need to go explore. Let's I've said see. it before and I'll say it again. How is someone so athletically inclined just gorge yourself on donuts all the time? She works it off when she swims. I guess, but like, I don't know, maybe she just uses that as her like energy, <laughs> her energy buffer or something. I, but, but I, I mean, I'm saying that to maintain that level of physique, it's not enough to just exercise. You also have to eat the right foods. Mm. But I don't know. What, maybe that's the only unhealthy thing she eats and it... Maybe, that, maybe that's her, like, her cheat food. I guess, but she seems to eat a lot of it. <laughs> And then she works it off later. That seems to be her thing. Anyway, that's right. Since the class trial is over, a new area should have opened up. Oh, yeah, fourth floor. Yeah. Plus, we still have Alter Ego. We don't have to give in to despair just yet. She said right in front of the cameras and they open again? I know. I, I don't get that either. They're very inconsistent with trying to keep Alter Ego secret. Yep. She's right. We have, a pl have to plan ahead and think about the future. Yeah, yeah, big happy thoughts, not happy thoughts. You know? Like when we're gonna get out of here, right? We're serious. When this is all over, I think I wanna get reborn for serious. Er, uh, I mean, reborn as someone serious. Okay. Hey, are you okay? That sounds like someone who's about to die for the same. I'm totally okay. I'm not gonna die. Why? Because there aren't going to be any more murders. You're, and that is what we call tempting fate. Uh, you're very mm -hmm. sure of that. <laughs> I'm so sure. According to the spirit, I predicted it last night. Since it revealed itself to me early from the ether, there's no doubt about it. I sincerely doubt you are the best clairvoyant. If you are the best clairvoyant, you're not a really... That's saying a lot about clairvoyancy. <laughs> <laughs> In his own words, he's a 30% accurate. Yep. Uh, How which, accurate is your fortune telling anyone? How about that? I can usually hit 20 or 30% on a good day! Uh huh. That seems really well. Really? Like well, yeah, it's not like it's ESP or whatever. Of course, I'm only gonna get it right sometimes. The occult is bullcrap. I told you my fortune telling isn't like some occult thing. So, um, fortune telling isn't occult? Wrong. Of course not. Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same category as cattle mutilation. You know, I gotta say for a second here, uh, uh, d doing like psychic readings and whatnot, twenty to thirty percent accuracy actually does sound pretty high. Yeah for something that is essentially predicting infinite possibilities. Yeah. Because it's not like you're doing a 50-50 coin toss on yes or no questions. Mm -hmm. This is straight up like trying to divine details. So a 20 to 30% ratio is actually really good. Yeah. 
He's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. Actually... No! You're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of fact, it's true! As a matter of fact, it's happened to me! How much were you drinking? Oh my... He, nothing, but he was smoking quite a bit. It, it all happened one day when I mixed up my, my marijuana with my LSD. <laughs> and then I went to go get a hamburger. It was a place I'd never been before. They claimed their patties were 100% all beef. So I got a burger to go and headed home. But... And before long... The, end is nigh. the sky was filled with a mysterious blinding light! Oh lord. Oh no! Oh no! Came out of nowhere <laughs> Honestly, with the other ridiculous stuff we've seen in this game, I'm not even gonna question this. What is this? As soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair. And then, the entire burger started coming apart. One part of it vanished. What world is this? Why? Are... What? Oh, don't! Please inform us what this means. The burger wasn't 100% beef. <laughs> it must have had some poor percentage in. Oh, no! I love this round of Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. I, I take 100% beef with this story. <laughs> oh, oh. What is it? <laughs> so I stormed back into the burger place and got up in the manager's grill, and they totally admitted it. It wasn't a hundred percent beef. They totally mixed in ground pork with it. <laughs> now do you see? That is cattle mutilation. Oh boy. I. Don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I kind of got lost halfway through. Oh, I can't tell if you're for a cold or, or against it. You, you stick us to kidding me. Don't be me. I stink of. How dare you! Oh, well, you do stink though. That's fine. <laughs> He's like, no, I, I totally get that I reek. That's. Um, anyway, I hope your prediction turns out to be true. Nope. <laughs> well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah, me either. I mean, I would never. Of course. Me either. Indeed. Nor I. That goes for me too, of course. I could never kill any of my friends. Someone's gonna die by the end of this, I'm sorry. There's... This and two more chapters. This is there's gotta be some death at some yeah. point here. I felt like those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. Except for the two dick bags who decided never to join us. One of them's an actual serial killer. <laughs> After so much sacrifice and hardship, we finally become united. Again, except for the two dick bags who decided to never join us. One of them's an actual serial killer. But to be honest, I wish Biaki and Toko were here for this too. But but they're so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. Uh, yeah, we're better off without them, I say. That was enough to prove we were united for the time being, but within that bond hid weakness and fragility. I get it. Chapter 4, All-Star Apologies. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, there's Chihiro there with... Hmm. Makina. We began our search as soon as we'd finished our breakfast in the dining hall. I guess that means Alter Ego is going to be important in mm -hmm. this one. Uh, oh, Alter Ego is probably going to finally have thing the files decoded. Oh, yeah, that's right. We had to find out what had opened up, 
what was waiting for us. All right, All right. time to go to the fourth floor. Oops. Yeah, leave that area. You. Map yeah. time! Oh, do you want to go spend our coins? Actually, no, let's let's no. do that another time. Let's, no, let's... I'm... Uh, we're, we're, well, we can't, we can't teleport to the fourth floor. We have to travel there first. Oh, well, maybe that's... Yeah. So just, yeah, go there and then let's get the stairs, find the stairs that go up. Hey, Boom! Boom! Shakalaka! So now we have access to the fourth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it! Find what? Some kind of clue. Weren't you paying attention? Oh well, yeah, I know that. But... Girls' classroom or girl bathroom. It's pretty obvious just by looking at it. There's no good reason for me to go in. There's no good reason for me to go in. So that means you're gonna go in later. <laughs> All right, boys' bathroom. Hit that tab button. Let's see what we can explore in here. Oh, nothing. Wow. Nothing. Yeah, I guess it's time to leave the area. Whatever, man. It's like your opinion, man. <laughs> Alright, what is that labeled as? Data center, data something? I guess data center would make the most sense. No good, the door's locked. I guess I won't be getting in here. Not yet, anyway. According to the nameplate, this is called the data center. But what's behind the door is a total mystery. Let's go get one of those hammers from downstairs and break the handle. <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting. Alright, another classroom. 4A. Bit of bat bat beat up. One day I saw Monokuma in class. I'm glad this floor got opened up and all that. There's like a ton of locked rooms up here. So we need to go find some keys, is what you're saying. Mm. All right, all right. Get our nice ones. It's a surveillance camera, blah, 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 blah. Indeed, the monitors. Yeah! Okay. Nice! And, okay, so there's still the clock. I guess that's all there really is to look at then. Yeah, okay. No? Okay, well, time to exit this room. All right. And 4B. What do we have in class 4B? Hello, I'm Monokuma from the school store. I'm very kind. Gather up your coins and come play with me, or I might die of loneliness. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Nice. Come on. Ooh, hey, we got some advanced mathematics going on. Yeah! Nice coin, 88. Yay! Woohoo! And the monitor. Yeah, of course. Nothing? Okay. Tab. Yep. All right, just, yeah, just the exit. All right. Next up. Hmm. Bat bat. What's that say? Chem. Okay. Yes. All right. Oh, this is gonna be fun for later. Oh, jeez. Inside the room, the smell of medicine was oppressive, because the healthcare industry is bullcrap. Yes, it is. And thus, that's why medicine is oppressive. <laughs> so this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. Wait, mm. in, 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 here's an inhaling? <laughs> Sakura is lost in conversation with Hina. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the Mastermind, but I can't while she's with Hina. Mm. What is it, Makoto? Did you need something? N no, it's nothing. So then. Really? Well, okay. So here's, here's the thing, Makoto. I understand not wanting to confront Sakura about what you saw while other people are around. That makes sense. It's also the safest way to do it. She's big and stocky. Right, like, but if you try to confront her alone, you need to understand that if she takes offense to this, you are little squishy man. She is most deadly woman on planet. Yep. <laughs> it's a remarkably big shelf. And it's stocked with all kinds of medicine. Someone's getting poisoned. No doubt. Oh, listen, Makoto. Listen, just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me. 
Uh, okay, Hina, just chill out. <gasps> There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine. Okay. And what? We even have protozyme X? W what's that? A high quality protein drink. There's nothing like the cheap swell of the warehouse. It's called a sewer level. Uh, oh, yeah? This is amazing. It's a gold mine. Oh, my parents are finding an answer. And a lot of small pears then. A gold mine, huh? That's a, that's good to store for away for later. Oh yeah. Surveillance camera, blah blah blah. Nice coin. Nice. And I gotta get that low battery note off of my phone here. We're gonna work looking at this thing. Okay. Blah blah blah. Ignore it. Nice. All right, cool. Okay. So once we finish exploring the fourth floor, we'll go ahead and end this one. And, and I am trying to intentionally keep this one as to be a little shorter than the other episodes, just because last one went quite long, and yep. also it's getting very late tonight. And I still gotta take this one home. Yep. Huh? You need something? No, it's nothing. You sure? Okay, then. Alright, so there's nothing mm. else. Alright, alright. Well then, uh, okay, stairs to the fifth floor, I'm barred sure up. I don't there's anything else. No, mm -hmm. no? all right. Okay. Very well, moving on. Some's getting poisoned. No doubt that is the case. Um, what's that? Is there a, oh, no, no label? Oh, there was one, you just missed it. Oh. All right, so, oh, there's another picture. This is the office. But where, where's, uh, where's Dwight? Where's, where, where's John Krasinski? But of course, there's no hint of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on. All right. All right. Yeah, going right for it. Huh? There's a picture on the floor. This picture. What? Okay, oh. Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. Hifumi's got his camera. He probably took a picture and Celeste's trying to get it back. Well, the camera belonged to him originally. Celeste never got the camera until long no, after. No, no, I mean, he took a picture of her and she's trying to get him oh. to delete it. Oh, it? okay, I get you. I get what you mean. She's mad. Okay, got it. All right, I already said, I, what? Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. The smiling faces of three people who are dead now. I don't think that's a smile on Celeste's face. Right? A classroom without metal plates over the windows? Just like the last picture. It's exactly the same. It's just like that picture I saw before. Quickly, snatch it up on your pocket. Right? There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenager to smile, including the one who's scowling but smiling on the inside. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. What is this? So does that mean this picture was taken before they gave her came to Hope's Peak? which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here, including Sayaka? No, there's no way. Monokuma did it. It must be fake. Take it before we... Ah, there we go. No, you're fake. Monokuma popped up out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. Ah, uh, you little bastard. Mm -hmm. A forgery pot? What are you, middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on! Then, you're saying this picture is real? Hey, um... If there was such a thing as a Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place! <laughs> but not third! Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question! Is this picture real, or is it a fake? Hmm. Oh, Makoto, you're so eager for you to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... But it's no use, just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true. The picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> Without little... another word, Monokuma disappeared. You little shit, I love you. Right? So the picture is real? So was the other one, probably. 
It's really real? If that's true, if that's the case. So here's, here's my thoughts right now. Everybody has been nice real photographs being used in those. Um, so as soon as we walked into the school or uh, everything went wonky and we collapsed and then we woke up in the classroom, right? Mm -hmm. And then all the craziness began. Yeah. I think everybody began attending this school totally normally. And we've all spent some amount of time here. And then something happened. We all had our minds wiped. Which is, yeah, caused, caused either like mass amnesia or mind wipage. And we've been sealed inside. Yep. All right, I got the stuff that we normally get, so what's the other stuff? Yeah, okay. Start looking at all them plants. Flower on the desk somehow makes things feel that much weirder. Nice coin! Woohoo! 91. Just start uh, hitting up all the flowers, I guess. Yes. Woo! What? Wait, why are you changing like so many angles? I'm trying there? to see what I'm clicking. Okay. Flower on the desk makes it weirder. Nice! Woohoo! So, I think I got that other one before. Mm -hmm. Which one am I clicking? Yeah, whichever, whichever one you want. Flower on the desk, make things even weirder. You, are we just getting a nice coin off of every single one of these flowers? I guess. That's that's cool. I mean, I'm down for that. All the nice coins. And the one on the very end. Huzzah! Good deal, good deal. All right, let's go down here. All right, that's six nice coins. A bit about that beat up boom running around headmaster's room nice and oh, i'm gonna bet it's locked the nameplate on the uh oh yeah hero did say there's a lot of locked doors we've only found one so far and then uh, headmaster's room there must be something worthwhile in there yeah no, yeah it's that. locked the door's locked damn it yeah you think monica was gonna let you go into something called the headmaster's <laughs> I, the headmaster. I am the headmaster of this school Mono Kuma. Nope, have not. Music, Music room. Oh, oh, we got it. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, I bet Sayaka would have loved this. Yeah. And Leon too. Yeah. Since he hated baseball and wanted actually wanted to be a rock star. This is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. Eh, a relatively small one, but yeah. Oh, wow, not a lot to look at in here. Wow. Oh. Hmm, that surprises me. Not even a nice coin. Yeah, Loser. Apparently not. <clears throat> oh, not even for that. Usually we get uh, a coin for at least one of those things. Yep. Hmm. All right. All right. Well, we can still talk to uh, Kyoko and get that piano. Yeah. Is this a grand piano? I'm surprised I don't know what that is. It seems really old. I bet it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around who can play it, it's totally useless. Watch somebody have a uh... Nice! Mm. Alright. All right. Is there anything else? Nope. Oh. Kyo Kyoko's the only thing left. Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So... About the secret room in the boys' bathroom? Ah! Well, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? Well, they came from behind, and I didn't have any time to react, which means that I never got to come from behind. <laughs> so, so I didn't see... Oh, that's bad. That was bad. So I didn't see who it was. The only one I'm going to eliminate what is Sakura, just because of the body type. Hers is, like, oh. too distinct. Oh, oh, absolutely. So it could have been anybody else, literally. Mm. Well, I don't think Hero's hair would have fit underneath that luchador mask. That's fair. So yeah, didn't see who it was. And when I came to, the mountains of files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry, I know how important those were. That's fine. It's okay. 
I was something needed to them there. Oh. And I have suspected the mastermind might come after me. What? Because when I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. It must have seen me go to the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about that room. It would seem... And apparently the answer to that is a big fat yes to the face. But to attack them and still have them in the room? That must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the mastermind's identity. Then you knew I was going to get attacked? That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, I'm a boy. What does she think a boy is? Honestly... Uh we don't know what's been done to her, so... Yeah, and she, apparently she she's under the impression something would happen to her body at some point. Yeah. Fine, I understand. Then let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said, you must not leave. Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. I'm not here. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance camera. So, oh, but the rest of this is perfectly fine to talk about right here. I'm looking into it. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. You listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So then. So, now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? Hmm. Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. Am I wrong? Mmm. Th that's... Ah, uh, she's noticed how jumpy we are around Sakura right now. What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Uh, um, well... Hey, we're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, is... Oh, no. Is Makoto going to keep it from her and break that trust? Or do we have an powerful enemy in later chapters. You're right that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. <sighs> oh. Well, this is probably going to affect how this game goes, huh? <sighs> so... I, I am aware... I, I am aware that there is a good ending and a bad ending. However... I don't think the choice that leads up to that is this early on still. It's like near the end. So, so on the one hand, it would give her means to look into it, but on the other, again, mm -hmm. we don't have evidence. Right. So I'm gonna go with no. Oh, really? Well... I would think that we would want the detective to have some frame of reference to begin an investigation. That's that's fair. But again, she's also the... <laughs> Honestly, I, I think if there's one character who can screw us over this whole thing, it's probably her. Hmm, okay, that's fair enough. You're the one at the controls, it's, it's up to you. I personally think honesty is the best policy in almost all situations, but... I will say no more to influence you. So... Yeah, I know this one. Okay! Yay! If she screws me over later, I called it. Okay, okay. I haven't found conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, it could just make things that much worse. So... Is this gonna be a but thou can't situation? Oh, I... It, then what's the point I'm of even a giving a choice? Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but there's nothing worth... Oh my god. Well, I guess that wouldn't even matter anyway. Well then, there's no point, is there? S sorry, I can't tell you. Not yet. So oh, that's your answer. However. But do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're but now you're on your own show. I'm sorry, I really am. That's fine. It's fine. Goodbye. 
Oh, we pissed her off. We broke the bonds of trust. With those as her parting words. And it's words. not like the game actually gave us an actual choice to do that. I, I know. That me. that does frustrate me quite a bit. Kyoko left me okay. Sorry. I think I made her mad. You think? I've already taken a good look at things around here. There's a lot to think about, but for now I should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. Hmm. All right then. Not long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. After a few minutes. Hmm. So, is this everyone? Well then. Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. All right. Yeah. There was a big shop in the chem lab on the fourth floor and had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. Uh, I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. I might come back and fight. Hmm. Oh, but it's not all good stuff, though. There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that... Um, there's also a bunch of different poisons. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Poison? Someone's gonna die with poison. Yep. They were all labeled clearly, though, so it would be hard to grab them by mistake. It's true. Still, we better make sure we're careful around there. Um, oh, 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 we discussed the possibility before that, um, Genocide Jack's probably not gonna kill anybody because of her specific nature, mm -hmm. but Toko, Toko might. Mm -hmm. And now there's access to poison leading her to the possibility of bloodless murder. And actually, that is a lot of women killers use poison because it doesn't leave a mess. <laughs> and we probably shouldn't tell Bianca or Toko about the poison, right? Yep. <laughs> They're funny, Biakia's probably gonna find out, but Toku, mm -hmm. yeah, don't say it. Yeah, B Biakia heads his own investigation the whole time, whole way through yeah, anyway. He's gonna he's, find out. Yeah. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, well, just in case, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um... Just in case. Yeah, I think you're right. However, it's Biakia. It won't be long before he's discovered it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open. You know, the smart thing to do would be to take that shit and flush it. Right? Just grab all the bottles of poison, go dump to the it. nearest bathroom, and just dump it. And then just toss the, toss the bottles in the, in the incinerator so there's no chance they can get even a drop out of that. Right? Yeah. But they're not going to do it because that would be the smart thing. Exactly. That's absolutely the work of the mastermind. Okay. So that was, that was Hina. Metal sheets have been attached to the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budged an inch. In other words, just like everywhere else. Mm. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. Okay. Hero, what'd you find? I found a couple of rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. Which we're probably going to end up going into by the end of this chapter. Mm. The headmaster's room? That sounds exactly kind of like the kind of place we find some clues. If we can somehow unlock the door and get inside, or break it down. Hey! How, how, how'd you all like my imp impersonation of Hina? It was, <laughs> Sorry. I did pretty good, huh? Sorry. <laughs> Who cares about a stupid lock? How about that? It should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. You know, there Do is a chemical lab. They could go get, they can go get an acid and do that too. Hero. It's one thing to refer to her by her fighting name, but to call her a missing link yeah. is fucking rude! What was that? What? No, please, continue. Did you say I got the nicest butt on the block? The Kirby sits in town, is that what you said? Hell no, I didn't! Aww. Hey. Then what did you say? Because I know you were talking about tearing down the door of the headmaster's room. <laughs> Knocking down your headmaster's door. What kind of war and education are you trying to start? War and education. That's my room, you know? It is now, anyway. And you're thinking of pressing it down? <laughs> that was a long voice clip. 
You seriously don't want to piss me off. Do you have any idea how much Beth Fair lives on a single bear claw? Uh, um, no, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. I'm not mad. You're totally mad. <laughs> I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're gonna go, go around having those thoughts, I have no choice but to add to the school regulations. Seriously? Too bad. Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, that's a rule now, you jerks. <laughs> <laughs> the new rule's been add added to the regulations? Breaking it down, you can still use acid. <laughs> <laughs> is he gone? Ugh, man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was going to kill me for serious. Well, but if you go out of his way to make him a rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. Absolutely. But no. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I'm sorry. But now that it's a rule, there's nothing we can do. Acid. <laughs> I, I feel like that qualifies as breaking. No, you're melting it. That Man. still leads to it being in a state of not functioning, i.e. broken. And wasn't it like the second case where we had, where we had, um, you couldn't steal a handbook, but you could borrow no, you, it? you couldn't borrow, you, lending a handbook is not permitted. But you could steal it. But borrowing or stealing one is, yes. Yeah, so lending and borrowing are basically, they mean the same thing. Just, uh, which side of the exchange are you on? Exactly. So if if, it, if it's only like a slight twist on, the, on a word that means the same thing, you can probably pass it. I, it, it's still broken. There's. No, I didn't break anything. I melted it. <laughs> that is my argument. <laughs> it is non-functional. Um, Kyoko. She's ignoring me. So, um... Hey, Makoto. Is Kyoko so upset? He was right. She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Yeah, it looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Whoa! Whoa! Hun, back down poor punch you. <sighs> this is bad. Hmm. So, has everyone said what they need to say? Hmm. I think so. We're serious. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. I haven't been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone did aliens do that too? Did, were they? Were, did they burn your house down to try to get to you, to the ground beef in your in your freezer? Someone do something to cheer me up. Um, can I say something? It's cause my dad was smoking in bed. What was he smoking? Oh, that's. No, I have something I'd like to report. So, you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found that picture up on the third floor the other day? Perhaps. You mean the one that showed Manda, Shihiro, and Leon all together, right? Huh. Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Whew. Oh my god, I just keep yawning. As my son would say, I've got too many yawns in my mouth. <laughs> Another picture, almost just like that one. Another one? But this time the picture was of Celeste, Ifumi, and Sayaka. Huh? Uh -huh. And they were all smiling. Celeste is not smiling. Yeah, that is not a smile. That is. And if you look really closely, she even has a little teardrop in her eye because she's really pissed about whatever he has. <laughs> And the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal covering the windows. So the picture of Manda Shihiro and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found one that had Celeste to me inside Sayaka. But, but how can I... Manakuma must have faked it! But if the picture is real, then everyone who was in it there would have to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. What? Can't be! It's a fake! But Monokuma said it was real. I know we could just write that off as a lie, but... So then, then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died? Huh? Because... 
That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, that's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. That's not... What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? Because the game made me lie to you. Yeah. I don't understand why she's so angry. Yes, you do. Hey, come, come on, on guys. Yeah. Stop fighting or all your good luck is gonna float away. Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. You know, as much as an asshole Monokuma is, he doesn't lie. He's been remarkably a, a straight shooter the whole way through. Yeah, so and that's like the only reason I believe it's real is because simply because he's shown that he doesn't interfere in his investigations. He always lets like, like if we guess it right, we're right. Hmm. And anytime like like yeah, he, he'll he'll impede with like rules and shit, but he doesn't outright lie. <laughs> Hmm. And this is not a... So, so far. Well, so far. But this is not a um, instance that can be mis misconstrued. Is it fake or is it not? It's real. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there's no there's no word trickery there. Right. He's, he's not play, uh, playing, uh, l lawyering with the, with the sentences there. Exactly. So. Wow. That was a great sentence, speaking of, for myself. He's mm -hmm. not lawyering with the sentence. God, it is... I need to go to bed. Yes, you do. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. Of course you'd say that. Mm. Well, actually, mm. if she's the spy, yeah, this could be true. Mm. Could be, yes. Especially if she's now actively rebelling against him. Yep. You might be right, but still. Oh, well, uh, this probably be Akuya. Are you still so conflicted? What? Yeah, I called it! It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Byakuya! You all have the same sudden look on your faces. You were all so ugly before. You shouldn't let them sink any lower. When I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. You know? Sorry. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone. You're not part of this. That's right. That's true enough. Your problems aren't mine. We are and always will be completely separate. So whatever's causing your faces to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if it happen and if I haven't discovered a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Why are you sharing the vital clue? Oh, what did you find? Huh? Did you finally just say something useful? Hey. Biakia, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brain to get to work might do you some good. <laughs> I was in the bath. What else what else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? It would seem maybe we should all go take a bath. Mm. Ah, good idea. Mm. A mixed bath? Okay. A mixed bath. If Alter Ego really did tell him something. I wonder what it could have been. Now that's the kind of shit they should have been doing all along. Right? Alright. Well, with that out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and... Oh, I got another... Gotta get that battery low marker off there. End things right here. I mean, one, less than 10% left on the battery. And for two, I intended for this to be a shorter episode and we've gone exactly the same amount as a regular. Oh, well. Well, exploring the fourth floor and doing everything just took a little bit longer, but hey, we got through everything we needed to. And now that we're leaving it off on the cliffhanger of what Alter Ego has to say, you have no choice but to tune in for the next episode. ka -cha! Brilliant! So, uh, this has been eventful. This has been. We, we learned that there was a secret room with information. Got bonked over the head before we could learn much about it. It did a better being us right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, sure. Tell the guy that you suspect that, oh, I suspect you, and then he knocks you out and takes a shit. Right, yeah. Uh, then, yeah, we learned Sakura was, is the spy, but she's rebelling against the mastermind now, so that's bad and good news. A little mixed bag there. Alter Ego's got something. The fourth floor apparently has a lot of clues hidden behind locked doors. And we learned the game is life. Yep. 
the, it, it railroaded us into a fake choice. I, I hate that. I hate that so much. Never, ever, ever give me a choice option if you're never if you're not gonna actually let me follow through it. Yep. Ah, I hate that so much. All right. Where do you think things are gonna go at this point? Someone's gonna die of poison. Oh, absolutely. I, I know we I know we've covered that, but. That, 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 that is like my 100% sure someone's going to die of poison. Mm -hmm. Might actually be Toko. The to die or to kill? To kill. Okay. Yes, I, 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 I agree. I think that Toko in her Toko persona. And not the and not genocide kill. I, I think that she is the one who is going to kill somebody with poison. And yeah, that's 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 uh, what that's, I can hear. That's that's all I can really say at this point. There's not much evidence. Right, uh, but we yeah we'll we'll see what what uh, alter egos got for us next time. So if you enjoyed this, then hit that like button, and of course if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, maybe ring the notification bell if you're feeling up to it. And of course, leave a comment down below on where you think things are gonna go from here. Do you believe? in a uh, uh, hero's prediction that there's going to be no more murders? Hell no. <laughs> I agree. But wouldn't it be great if it turned out to be true? I know, right? Uh, that would be wonderful. Ah, so without further ado, this, uh, you know, Sakura and her, her determination at this point is wonderful to behold. And I think that it deserves itself a great... Big. Hell yeah!